Okay, here I am preparing for my third episode of Toilet Philosophy and um, I didn't think this through. I'm in the bathroom at, the, at work. Those eyelashes are fucking boss. It's my girl Devin's work. Um, okay. Check this out. I'll just fucking grab the toilet seat things from out of there um, to hold my phone up. Fucking genius, bro. I'm a fucking genius. Okay, that's how you freaking make shit. Whatever, whatever. DIY in the public restrooms when you're about to do a toilet philosophy. What's up, y'all? All right. I'm gonna have to blur this part out. shifting and every time I bring up this term people 
get very like uncomfortable. And some people think it's funny. Some people in the spiritual community are like, ah, shake, shake, shake. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Uh, and it's it's interesting to me to see how, who I consider highly evolved people to kind of like think it's funny that I use the term shape shifting. Shape shifting doesn't have a good connotation on it at all. But when I'm using shape shifting in the sense of sense eight as well as soul connections and how thoughts work, you'll, it makes perfect sense that we shift in and out of each other. Now, if we're talking about we are all one, that we're all frequency, we're all energy, doesn't mean we all share the same frequency, but we tap in and out of the same frequencies. So, Let me give you some personal examples because I can't tell you how it's going to work in your life. What I can tell you is that in my life, I've had shape-shifting experiences from like low-level shape-shifting to high-level shape-shifting. Low-level shape-shifting for me is when I am around somebody that I love or maybe somebody that I hate and I start to feel or become what they're feeling or becoming. Now, some people might say that that's empathy. And it is empathy, but it's also, there's, you can take empathy a step further to recognize that we shift in and out of each other, especially our family, big time our families. And you'll hear people saying all the time, I'm becoming my mom and dad, I'm becoming my grandparents. That's because we've shape shifted in and out of them so many times throughout our childhood. Now that's low level shape shifting. It's done without awareness, uh, but it happens very often. In fact, we don't even recognize how many times a message is sent to us, but it's actually going to the person that we've shifted into in that moment. So this idea of identity and self could, I mean, self we can keep, but identity can pretty much be scrapped because we can be any identity at any time. Um, now, I think what might stress some people out is trying so hard to stay the same identity to, to be what they've created or present to the world. Now, there's medium level shape shifting, everything in between. Medium level shape shifting is not literal shape shifting, but it is shape shifting in the sense of now that you're aware that you can tap in and out of people at any time, you start to use it to your advantage. Okay. Um, let's see. I know that my youngest sister is really hot and that guys are very much attracted to her. So if I want to tap into that like sexy, sensual side, okay, I'm Gia. I don't know, I don't need to, oh, I didn't mean to say her name out loud, but I did. Anyway, now I don't need to tell people that I'm her, but I'll tap into her, I'll feel her, I'll become her, and then I'll project her energy and I can do that because I'm around her so much. I feel her energy so much it's very easy for me to take it on and send it back out to people and then whatever benefits that she gets from the world I can also get because I can tap into it. Now that's medium level shape shifting. Then we have high level shape shifting where we actually can jump in and out of each other's bodies. Now, jumping in and out of a body, I'm gonna just kind of throw this theory out there because it came into my mind, happens when another person is not completely in their own body. They're in somebody else's. Now, I've had a shape-shifting experience, many, but I've had this shape-shifting experience where as I'm waking in from a sleep, I'm in a man's body. And this man, not only am I in his body, I can see through his eyes. I saw what his room looks like. I saw what his dog looks like. I felt what it felt like to be under his covers, what it felt like to have his dog laying next to me. I heard him on the phone. So now most of my senses are activated. I heard him on the phone having a conversation and then I became aware very quickly that that's not me. And I said, this is not Brianna, who is this? And I got the guy's name and then I was told that I was gonna meet him. But when it was getting lost in translation, oh, you're going to meet him turned into, you need to find him. And that's that like crazed um, psychopath that comes out of me that we all can tap in and out of. That's not something that any one person has. It's not a part of an identity. It's something we all tap in and out of. 
and it's something that every single one of us can transmute into a different light. Every single one of us have the power to do that. So even using the word psychopathic is kind of fucked up. Anyway, I'm gonna use it so that I can have this example here. And, oh, I'm gonna try to find him on Facebook. And I said to myself, you only remember his first name. You don't remember his last name. Trying to find him on Facebook would be damn near fucking impossible. I'm not gonna waste my time doing that. That sounds ludicrous. Like, cool, that would have entertained me for hours before, but it's not gonna do that today. I have better things to do now. Um, so I did it. I did it. Go searching him on Facebook. And three days later, about three days later, I met him at a party. My one of my good girls' birthday parties. And her boyfriend, who that was my first time meeting her boyfriend, grabs me by the shoulders, shakes me up, and says, Brie, you have to meet my friend, blah. And as soon as he said his name, I said, oh, that is him. And I look over and I see him, and it just, it connected so highly, so strongly. Um, and the way that it all went down, and so I remember walking up to him and asking him, hey, I mean, how much can I ask him? Can I, can I ask him if he's got a certain painting in his room? Probably not, right? So I went with the safe route and I asked him if he has a dog. Yes, is your dog small? Yes, is it a fluffy white dog? Yes, does it like to lay with you in bed? Yes. Are you a dog psychic? And in that moment I got to tell him, no, I'm not a dog psychic, but I was in your body a few days ago. Now that, at that moment, he said that he was open to receiving that information. Um, we haven't really spoke since. We haven't engaged in such things. But that's a high level shape shifting. And higher level shape shifting comes in when a person knows that they can shape shift, like myself and a few others. And we want to talk to somebody, but we can't. We want to be with somebody. So instead of shape shifting to their body, because that, you know, give, that has like, that has its goods and bads. We can shape shift it to someone that's with that person. Okay, I know that this person's with this person and um, I'm gonna shape shift to the person they're with so it's like I'm with them. Now that one I'm still practicing, that's higher level shape shifting. So, I, and a lot of people ask me about this, a lot of people ask me about shape shifting, a lot of people laugh about it. Maybe I'm using the wrong term, that's fine. I'm only talking about shape shifting in humans, in, although we can shape shift into animals as well. Just like any domesticated pets very clearly communicate with us, you have to be tapped in to the one frequency. Um, if you're tapped into a, the separate frequency where this is an animal and I'm a human and we speak different languages, then you're never going to understand what the fuck they're saying. But if you tap into the one frequency and you recognize we're all connected, you, you can't understand them. Um, so, that's my lesson for today. I went a little over 10 minutes. I'm gonna keep it under 15 for sure. Thank you for sticking with me for toilet, toilet philosophy. I'm getting a fucking cramp in my leg right here for putting all my weight on it. And I gotta get back to work. I love you all. <laughs>